This is Steve Wilson and the XCrafts eJets video tutorial series. In this video things are going to be a little bit different and I hope interesting. We're going to do some advanced editing techniques and I'm going to show you how to review your flight plan using the uh, MFD map page. Without uh, further ado, let's get in the cockpit get to business. Okay, we're in the cockpit and I've set up a couple of quick looks to make things easier here. First thing we'll do is pop up the FMS good to go there. Let's have a look at the uh, map here. And I've gone ahead and I've already decluttered things by removing the uh, waypoints. Uh, as you can see that makes things pretty busy. And we want to see our flight plan route uh, as clearly as possible. Okay, good to go there. Uh, now without further ado, let's go ahead and enter a flight plan. Head over to the index. Performance page, perf 2, cruise airspeed will be 270 knots, 270, cruise altitude 15,000 feet, very, very good, and let's go ahead and enter that missing departure airport, and this is going to be the Tucson to Tucson round trip that uh, you see in your tutorial folder, in the aircraft folder, comes with uh, the E-175 and the E-195 as well. And for transition, we'll go to Nachi. Very good. And we'll load. Let's see. Let's take a look. Okay, I haven't loaded the route yet. Let's go ahead and do that. K2 to K2. Very good. Take a look at that. Okay, speeds and altitudes good. Sid looks good. Tops out at 15,000 feet. Want to see that? And go to arrival. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll go to Tucson again. And select runway. We'll fly back to 1 1 left. Star will be PXR. Approach transition will be Dingo to I 11, basically the instrument uh, landing system, the ILS. And we'll select that as well. Okay, very, very good. So let's see what we get here. And this is where things get a little interesting because as you can see here, we start uh, the uh, star at PXR, we go to TFD to Baser, then Dingo, then Mava, then Dingo again just for the heck of it, then on to Takub. This is a, uh, this is not not what I would call a discontinuity, it's pretty much just a uh, an error that uh, I derived uh, by making the particular selections that I did. In other words, I intentionally did something wrong. Uh, this is a quick way to uh, put a flight plan together, but the correct way to do things, of course, is to, uh, in this particular case, to examine your approach, your approach plates and make sure that you've got the right, plate, the right waypoints and in the right order. But we can fix this. That's uh, the whole point of this video. So let's go ahead and get out of DKE. We'll go back to the index and we will ex execute the flight plan. As you can see, it shows up on the map. Let's head over through progress and to, to the flight plan page. And this is where all the waypoints show up. We have, uh, let's see, two pages worth looks, no, three pages worth. It's a busy flight plan. Okay, and of course, uh, the, the uh, Baser Dingo Mava Dingo Takub uh, error group is right there. So let's go ahead and uh, show you what I mean. Right now, we're on page two, and TFD is highlighted. So on the plan page, you're seeing TFD. Is that not cool? Uh, let's go back to the beginning here. Uh, we're at Tucson, and as I use the arrow keys in uh, direct keyboard entry mode, I can just go ahead and scan through the entire flight plan. The waypoint that's highlighted on the flight plan page is the uh, waypoint that's in the center of the screen here. So you can see Nachi here, vaguely, and Nachi on the flight plan. So let's keep on going. Here we go to Skitter. Fanac, Pickley, PXR, bang a U-turn there, and we head to TFD, and then Baser, then Dingo, Mava, back to Dingo, and on to Dekub. Ah, that's not too cool. So this, again, is a hypothetical situation, and it's a great uh, way of uh, showing just how quickly we can fix a mess like this. So let's see. Uh, the, the most common sense way to do this, of course, is to see where we can uh, cut out uh, any additional extraneous turning uh, and deviation from what we essentially want to be uh, the shortest path to the approach path to Tucson International Airport. So 
Uh, let's see, back to Baser. Looks like Dingo. Mava, we certainly don't want to go to. Go back to Dingo. Don't need to, don't need to, to go to Dingo twice. And then on to Takub. So basically, these are the two waypoints that we want to delete. Uh, so let's just go about that business. I'm entering, hitting the Enter key uh, for DKE. I've selected it. I've deleted it. Automatic change right there. Unfortunately, it pops us back to the beginning so that we're starting from a you know, pretty much fresh start. And yeah, let's go back to that page. Uh, we don't need Dingo twice. So we'll just go ahead and order. Uh, let's go ahead and delete the first one so we can start our descent a little bit earlier. Doesn't matter which one you enter. Again, this is a, one of those things where you'll consult the, the approach plate to make sure you're not descending too soon. Don't want to. Okay, and we'll go ahead and delete Dingo and then go back to the second page. Good to go. All right, let's see what uh, what we got here. All right, here's the U-turn at uh, PXR, TFD, Baser, Dingo, Takub, and then on Lipti and on into Tucson. There you go. And that pretty much covers it. Uh, that was uh, the whole point of the video to show you not only the ability to edit on a loaded flight plan, uh, but to show you the use of the plan page to go ahead and uh, make sure visually that your flight plan makes sense. And with that, thank you very much for uh, your, your time and attention. I uh, hope you got something out of it. Uh, and of course, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. And as always, have a great day.